Welcome back once again to HowToCookGreatFood.com If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel Okay, this lovely tandoori fish This is a whole tilapia that I'm using as you can see It's been cleaned fully inside It's been descaled, And I've put some slices across each side there Across the meat That will open it up a little bit Okay, so we're in a mixing bowl We're going to go in straight away with Some lemon juice Don't worry about the pips or seeds going in there. That's no big deal. So one lemon there, some fresh green chili. Here I've got fresh mint and a little bit of fresh coriander. Got a few powders on the go there. In the center I've got salt and around that I've got haldi or turmeric cumin, coriander and chili powder. They're all about equal parts. In that goes. As does a teaspoon and a bit of ginger garlic paste. Now, you've got to be careful with this little bad boy. This is a kind of orange red color. You can omit this if you want. It does give it a great color though. Just a little touch of oil. I'm using an olive oil, but you know, sunflower, corn, fine. Now some natural yogurt. It's like 200 grams of the yogurt there. Now we need to mix this in. Be really careful now, don't we? You don't want to handle this because of that food color that we've got. So give it a good mix of a spoon. Or wear gloves. If you had some gloves on that, that would work. Flip them over. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this covered with some shrink wrap or cling film. Make sure you get some of that inside the fish as well. And then we're gonna refrigerate this. You need to refrigerate this for a minimum of two hours. If you can do it overnight, that would be great. I'll see you then. Okay then, as you can see here, I've got a flat surface. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can just use a frying pan or you know, a griddle or whatever you want, really. Our fish, here we are. It's been covered. I left mine overnight. Let me just grab hold of her. And simply, we're gonna go straight on. Now there's no need to keep turning the fish over because it'll probably just fray. You want to cook this for about four to five minutes on each side and it'll be absolutely delicious. If you wanted, you could do this on your barbecue. I'll be back when I flip her over. Okay, let's try and flip this over now. There she goes. Another four or five minutes on this hot plate, and I think she'll be ready. See you then. Okay, so here we have it. The moisture will go away, as you can see, it will burn off and blacken, and then we can get rid of some of that hardcore blackness. But to be honest, that's kind of part of the flavour you want. So. Right, I'll present this on a plate. I hope I don't break it, be careful. And uh, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, there we go. Absolutely delicious, really simple to do. Worth the effort that you put in and, and marinating it overnight or at least for a couple of hours. This is gonna be great, hope you enjoy it. We'll see you again soon, bye bye.